Hi everyone, it's Lee Jen Man here and after building dozens of AI voice agent for my clients, I have come to realize that the most single use case is appointment setter. So in this video, I will show you how you can book appointment in your calendar. First of all, it will check the availability in the calendar if the slots are open or not and then it will book the appointment if the slots are open. So let us get started and if you want to build your own custom AI voice solution, feel free to check out Flux45 and book a demo or book a call and we will help you out. As well as we have entire code on AI voice agent it is most and the best course in this entire planet to be honest because we have covered everything starting from hands or or basics we have covered make.com we have covered any at we have covered ghl multi-state agent conversation agent how to set up your own ai automation agency like i did how i started my ai voice agency literally everything so make sure to check it out this course link will be in the description section as well as my school link where you will have like one on one or like private coaching from me all right so why wait let us get started building our ai voice agent that can check the availability and book the appointment in your calendar so we will first of all rename our last build which is dental care awesome so what we are doing here is we are first of all checking the availability in your calendar and booking the appointment if the availability is free. So you will need to add custom functions or inbuilt functions that is provided by Retail AI. To be honest, Retail AI is the best at this game. No one else platform provide this easy appointment setter or easy appointment booking AI voice assistant. Like within just 5 minutes, you will be able to build your own AI voice agent that can book and schedule appointment for you. So here we have to change the task first of all because in task we have to navigate our AI voice agent like how should is process the appointment booking process. For instance, first it should check for the availability and then if the availability is open, it should book an appointment. So if we go to the middle part which is function, you will be able to see there are five inbuilt function one two three four five that retail ai provides to us the first is end call then we have call transfer for instance if someone want to talk to a real human or if someone want to talk to a customer service rep we can transfer our call from our ai voice agent to a real human that's where we will use call transfer then we have this beautiful integration of retail ai with cal.com so it will check the availability from cal.com and it will book appointment using cal.com in your calendar lastly we have press digit which is the ivr thing and we have custom functions don't worry about custom functions we are going to deep dive into later lectures but first of all we need to check the availability in our calendar so we will write the prompt for it for appointment booking we will at least need the name and their email address so we are going to say for appointment booking process we will collect the essential information which is the first name and this is the kind of a prompt hack that you can use in your AI voice agent which is wait for the user response otherwise sometimes your AI voice agent will continue rambling on and it won't wait to get the first username as well as the email so we are simply saying wait for the username same goes for email address once we have the first name and then email address we will proceed to checking the availability in our calendar we can say something like availability management check calendar availability again wait for the user response and if slot is available complete booking and send confirmation this send confirmation will be automatically done inside your calendar and if slot unavailable offer alternative times yeah that's pretty much it now we can also add some error handling for instance if our AI voice agent was not able to fetch the email address properly it will say can you repeat this email address one more time something like it in error handling we can say if technical issues arise acknowledge them professionally and request patience for instance if there is something problem with your calendar and it is not able to fetch the availability it will say right now i am not able to do it as well as if the user response is unclear politely ask for clarification and bunch of things so feel free to adjust the prompt it is i am just using this as a template or i just want to show you the powerful feature which is to check availability and book appointment but feel free to refine your prompt and in the next lecture i will have this entire prompt summary or prompt guide for your AI voice agent so make sure to check it out now let us add those function which is check calendar availability and book on calendar first of all we will use check calendar availability this is the name of our function the description or basically what we want to achieve out of this option here we have to add our api key of cal.com then event id and your time zone that you are located in again time zone is very critical because for instance if you are in international business if i am calling from india to an usa number and i am speaking can you book an appointment at 9 am the time in usa will be obviously different that's why it is so critical to use time zone i will show you how you can book appointment in separate time zone nothing too crazy so first of all we will fetch our api key because our our name and description is already been sorted out by retail AI. All we need to enter is these three options. So let us go to cal.com. 
Cal.com is similar to Google Calendar or Calendly. Nothing too crazy. So let us create a new event. Let's say YouTube test. This is a dental. Or we can say, let us click on continue. Awesome. So feel free to adjust the configuration in your calendar. For instance, availability when you guys are open. Now what we need is the event ID. So where you can find your event ID is from the URL. You can see after the slash, we have the event ID. So simply copy that event ID. So I will copy it and paste it here. Same goes for API key. So you will find the API key under setting tab, click on settings, click on API keys, click on add new one. Let's say YouTube test and let us save this. Now copy this key and paste it here and the time zone you will be easily able to find your time zone in your calendar or your event. Click on availability and you will be able to find your time zone here. So copy this and paste it here. Awesome. So what it will do is it will check the slot any available slot in your calendar. Now same goes for book on calendar. Once our AI voice agent has checked for the availability and if slot is open, it will book on that particular slot which user requested. So the name is book appointment, description is when the user asked to book an appointment, book it on calendar. And again we have to add our time zone, event ID, same event ID that we have used here. Let us copy this one and your API key. Don't use my API key, use your own. Let us save this. Now there is still one piece missing in this puzzle. I will show you. So if we ask our AI voice agent to book an appointment tomorrow or on any particular date and time, it won't have access to current date and time. So that's the limitation of LLM or large language models. I will show you. So let us test our AI voice agent, but feel free to use or feel free to configure with speech setting. For instance, if you want to have your background noise, coffee shop, call center, whatever you like, but I like to keep it none. Then responsiveness. It is very important because if our AI voice agent is rambling along too much and if our user is interrupting, how fast our AI voice agent should speak after the user has finished talking. So feel free to adjust and play around with this responsiveness. Same goes for interruption. For instance, if AI voice agent is speaking and the user is speaking in the middle, should our AI voice agent stop right over there after one word, two word that has been spoken by user? To be honest, there is no perfect number for responsiveness or interruption sensitivity. All you need to do is find a sweet spot for it. So I like it, keep it low as well as the responsiveness. Then after we have enable back channeling, for instance, when our user is speaking, our AI voice agent will say, yeah, uh-huh, so that it feels more natural and like it is a human talking and not AI. So you can enable this as well. Then we have boosted keywords. In this example, we are using a medical or a dental care. So if you have any particular keywords that you want to emphasize more on conversation, feel free to edit here. Then we have call settings. If voicemail is detected, you want to hang up or you want to leave a message, you can add all of this filter and customization to your AI voice agent. Then the max call duration, I like to keep it around like 10 minutes because otherwise if I'm keeping it at like for instance one hour my ear voice agent will get me bankrupt so i like you to keep it around 10 minutes and pause before speaking then we have end call on silence for instance if the user is not speaking let's say for one minute it will automatically end the call and we have pause before speaking so when our call is started should our AI voice agent speak instantly or should wait for one second, two second? I really like to keep it one or two seconds so that it feels more natural and more human like. Then we have post call analysis, security settings. If you want to opt out for sensitive data storage, enable this. That means that it won't record any calls, it won't record any logs, everything. And we have fallback voice ID. So what is fallback voice ID is? I will show you. For any reason, if 11 lab is not working, what it will do is it will fall back to these two options which is play HD or open AI. So if you add like you can see it only shows two options which is play HD or open AI since we have selected 11 labs. So you can use any of this voice as a fallback. So in case if 11 labs is down or not working it will automatically use this voice. And we have webhook settings. Again, don't worry about these two part, which is post call analysis and webhook settings because we are going to have a deep dive look into those in later lectures or later videos. But as of now, I want to show you our LLM won't be able to get the current date and time. So let us test our agent. Hello, this is Lisa from Lee Gen Man Dental Care. How can I help you? Yeah, hi Lisa. I just want to check in, like, what is tomorrow's date? Hi there. Tomorrow's date will be October 28th, 2023. <laughs> How can I assist yeah. you further? So that's the, that's the problem. Do you know the time? Sure. The current time depends on your location. Could you let me know where you are or your time zone so I can help you with the exact time? Yeah, I'm in Los Angeles, USA. Got it. 
If you're in Los Angeles, the current time is based on Pacific time, PT. Let me know if you'd like me to check anything else yeah. for you. It is not able to fetch the current date and time. So that's the problem because LLM or the model that we are using is ChatGPT 40 was last trained on October 28, 2023 so that it won't have access to right now current return time. So how we can solve this problem? It is very simple. We tell AI make it very very easy. All you need to do is add this inbuilt function inside your prompt that is get the current date and time we can say get the current date and time by using this dynamic variable or by using this custom function current underscore time and close the dynamic variable so you can easily create dynamic variables by opening two curly brackets then adding your dynamic variable and by closing it don't worry about dynamic variables right now i just want to show you about how you can get your ea voice agent today's current date and time so after we have mentioned like get the current date and time by using this inbuilt function inside retail ai you don't have to create any make to scenarios to get the current date and time you can easily get this simply by adding this dynamic variable which is current underscore time so let us save this and let us test our agent again hello this is lisa from lead gen man dental care how can i help you hi lisa can you can you let me know day after tomorrow's date of course Day after tomorrow's date will be Monday, January 20th, 2025. Let me know if there's anything else I can assist you with. Yeah, so today's uh, is January 18th and day after tomorrow is January 20th. Yeah, can you let me know today's current time? Okay, sure. Right now it's Saturday, January 18th, 2025 at 11 hours, 54 minutes and 33 seconds a.m. Gotcha. PST. Yeah. Two days from now, at the same time, it will be Monday, January 20th, 2025, at 11 hours, 54 minutes, and 33 seconds a.m. PST. Let me know if you need anything else. Yeah, gotcha. Thank you very much. So now it has access to current date and time, then we can easily book our appointment. Otherwise, it will book appointment in October 20th, 2023, which won't make sense to us. But there is still one issue. When our AI voice agent is referring to current date and time, it is referring to the time zone in Los Angeles or New York. So that's why, for instance, if you are based in India, Dubai, Qatar, it won't be able to convert that in your particular time zone. So how you can navigate this problem is simply by saying get the current date and time by using our dynamic variable or inbuilt function that retail AI has and convert it into your particular time zone. Sorry. Add your time zone here. For instance, my time zone is IST or Indian time zone. All right, so let's save it and let's test our agent again. Hello, this is Lisa from Lead Gen Man Dental Care. How can I help you? Hi, Lisa. Can you let me know today's date and time? Hi. Sure. Today's date and time in your time zone, India Standard Time, is Sunday, January 19th, 2025 at 1 hour, 43 minutes and 59 seconds a.m. IST. Tada. Let me know if you need help with anything else. Yeah. So right now it's 19th January in my time zone, which is IST at 11 uh -huh. or 1.45 a.m. 1.45 a.m. 19 January. Awesome. Thank you very much, Lisa. Awesome. So you now know how to convert this current dynamic field, which is current time into your particular time zone. So let us move ahead and use our check availability and book availability. So let us open our calendar. Right now it's 19th January. So let us book appointment for tomorrow. Let us test our agent again. Hello, this is Lisa from Lead Gen Man Dental Care. How can I help you? Hi Lisa, I have a toothache and I just want to check in with the dentist tomorrow, if that's possible. I'm sorry to hear about your toothache. Let me help you schedule an appointment. Could you please share your first name? Yeah, it's Manthan. Thank you, Mankan. Could you also provide your email address so I can proceed with checking the availability for tomorrow? Did you get my name right? It's Manthan. Oh, I apologize for the mistake, Manthan. Thank you for correcting me. Could you please share your email address so I can check the availability for tomorrow? Yeah, why not? It's manthanp037 at gmail.com. Thank you, Manthan. Let me check the availability for tomorrow. I'll get back to you shortly. It seems there are no available slots for tomorrow, but we do have openings on Monday, January 20th, 2025. The available times are from 9 a.m. to 2.30 p.m., from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Would any of these times work for you? Yeah, let's book an appointment at 1 p.m. 
I'll book your appointment for Monday, January 20th, 2025 at 1 p.m. It seems there was an issue with the email address provided. Could you please confirm if your email is correct? It looks like there might be a small typo. Yeah, I think uh, it, it was monthnp037 at rate gmail.com. It seems the email might be missing something. Could you confirm if it's manthamp037 at gmail.com? Yep. Thank you for confirming. Let me book your appointment for Monday, January 20th, 2025 at 1 p.m. One moment, please. Your appointment has been successfully booked for Monday, January 20th, yeah. 2025 at Thank 1 you very much, Lisa. I will meet you there. Yeah, tada, within just seconds, it has booked appointment in your particular time zone. And did you see when it mentioned like it was only open from 9 to 2.30 p.m. And then from 3 to 5.30 p.m. That's it. So you can see it has added my second email. So let us open that email. Yeah, and it has book appointment as well as I should get email as well. Lead gen men dental care between Flux45 and Manthan. Awesome. So that's how you can use AI voice agent as an appointment setter. The main thing is convert the current gen time into your particular time zone if you are outside Los Angeles. That's the goal of this lecture. I hope you found this valuable in different time zone. How you can convert those time zone or book meeting in the time zone reflect in different time zone. So make sure to check it out this comprehensive course. I will put the link in the description section as well as if you want to get one on one with me. I will add my school link as well. Bye bye. Take care. I hope you are having a great day and I will see you in another video.